everybody. Um, it's Heather and Catherine coming from MCI's World Headquarters in Durham, North Carolina. And we're excited to announce our 2020 uh, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill um, Gilling School of Public Health Fellowship. And we figured what better way to introduce our 2020 fellowship than to bring in our previous 2019 first ever fellow, Catherine Carpenter. Hi, I'm Catherine, and as Heather said, I'm the 2019 um, Gilling School of Global Public Health MCI Fellow, um, and I'm really excited to talk a little bit about my experience um, and what a 2020 Fellow might expect and why uh, you should apply to be the MCI Gilling 2020 Fellow. Cool. So what did you hope to accomplish versus what you maybe actually did accomplish? Um, I didn't know very much uh, going in, which looking back, um, I'm actually glad that it was so open um, because I was really able to make the experience my own. And so coming in, I wanted to um, create some behavior change communication materials. Um, and I feel like I, w I was able to do that um, sort of on a limited scale over the couple months that I did my practicum. But I was also, I think, able to help MCI as an organization um, understand um, uh, the views of stakeholders a little bit more through one of my deliverables um, and think I was able to bring my background in uh, linguistics and framing and education a little bit to the content uh, development and the communication materials. Uh, Absolutely. Process. Yeah, I know it was really fun to, to have you come through fitting a need that we had right then and as a small evolving organization that need changes over time. So yeah. while your focus was on communication, there's yeah. other opportunities that we can also yeah. bring in. So there is a lot of flexibility because we're a staff of four yeah. now yeah. Um, for folks to really shine at what they yeah. are best at doing. Absolutely. And, and I really you, felt that. Yeah. Well, and you certainly did that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. So now that you're an employee, what are you working on and how do you feel about how that ties into what you're fellowship work was? Yeah, so the fellowship, I feel like I've sort of been able to stay on and take some of the work I was doing in the fellowship a little bit further, and I feel like now as an employee, I feel more comfortable um, and more confident in kind of just trusting my own expertise and um, just bringing in uh, what I think is useful, what I think I can contribute, whereas with the fellowship, I was more, um, felt like I needed more direction and more uh, like I need to check in more about what I was working on and make sure it aligned and make sure I was doing the right thing and now I feel more like I understand the organization and the needs and I'm able to kind of pull from uh, different things that I see or different things that I think of or uh, things that I think are worth exploring and kind of just uh, take them on on my own whereas with the fellowship I was able to do that to some extent but um, felt like I needed a lot more guidance um, so I feel like now um, I've sort of expanded. I still do some content creation. Um, I run the Youth Advisory Board, which is something that came out of the fellowship um, that wasn't originally part of the plan, but um, really became a big part of it. Um, I do um, a lot of advocacy things through um, like working in developing uh, literature for the field and uh, working with university organizations and with the Youth Advisory Board, um, with some of our fellows, um, just kind of trying to um, advocate for male contraception and using all the means that we have available to us. Yeah, That's cool. So what would you say to prospective applicants for this um, I would say um, if you're interested in sexual reproductive health, if you're interested in behavior change, if you're interested in social norms, um, or in uh, being at the forefront of something, uh, this is a really great place. If you're an independent thinker and worker, um, this is a great place. If you really want to contribute to an organization and be able to kind of uh, bring your own expertise, bring your own um, ideas and things you want to work on, um, this is a place that's really open to that um, and that will support you and provide guidance and will create space for new ideas. Um, this is a really great place to work um, and to kind of explore that. Um, you know, I came in for my practicum, I had deliverables uh, that we had laid out, but they were flexible. I was able to kind of let them evolve based on the needs of the organization and based on 
my own interests and expertise and things I wanted to bring, and there was a lot of support for that, um, a lot of support for me, a lot of support for what I was working on, um, and I felt like we were able to create uh, really meaningful products from that dynamic. So if that's something you're interested in, um, if that's a way that you work, um, if you want to be part of a field that is growing and that is exciting and that is going to be something that people are really talking about in about 10 years, um, this is a great place to work. So if you know, you, you find any of this interesting or compelling, we'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, also feel free to reach out to us. We're always around and happy to chat. Yeah. Um, otherwise, we look forward to seeing the applications. And thank you again to Gilling School of Public Health for um, collaborating with us and being allowing us to be a partner in this fabulous program because it's obviously been beneficial yeah, to us on many levels. So thank you, and hopefully we'll see you soon.